Hi friends, welcome to music class. It's me, Miss Tara. Bum -ba -da -da. This is my name. Miss Tara is my name. Name. The way you say name in sign language is like this. You take two peace signs, put the fingers together, bloop, and then tap them one on top of the other. Name name. Now today before we get started I want you to practice pat, pat, patting to the beat. You can pat, pat, pat slowly or pat, 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 pat fast, whichever you want to do, but I want you to pat to the beat. Whether it's on yourself or on the floor or on a drum or with a shaker. For down to the water, we always say our days of the week. Now, this week, instead of repeating after me, let's just review the words together. We're going to say them at the same time, starting with Sunday. You ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That was great. Let's do it again. Starting with Sunday. Here we go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yay! Good job. Now, you know we also in this song do the days of the week in Spanish. Would you like to go over those? Okay, let's do it. This is what they look like. And I will say each word each day of the week in Spanish, and you repeat after me, okay? Starts with domingo, domingo, lunes, lunes, martes, martes, miércoles, miércoles. That's tricky. Let's do that one again. Miércoles. Miercoles. Good. Jueves. Jueves. Viernes. Viernes. Y sábado. Sábado. Muy bien. Very good. I think we are ready to do our song. You know, all we need is what? A beat. That's right. And then we're going to get ready to go down to the water.
before we open our mailbox and see what special friends have joined us today, I'd like to talk to you about some colors, lots of colors, okay? Let's start with red, red, which in Spanish is rojo, and then orange, orange, in Spanish that's anaranjado, good. Um, then yellow, yellow, in Spanish that's amarillo, green, take your little pinchers, hold them down like this and just shake them, green, green, in Spanish that's verde, blue, take your letter B and just shake it, and in Spanish, that's azul and purple. Peace sign with your thumb right here on one side and just shake it down. And in Spanish, that's morado. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Can you think of anything that would have all those colors in it? Do you have any guess? One of my favorite things, the rainbow. Do you love a rainbow? Do you see rainbows sometimes? Outside if you're playing with the water or if you have a prism hanging in your window or if you see an actual rainbow in the sky after the rain, it's always just magic. I love it. Now I wanna teach you the sign for rainbow. Are you ready? This is one of my favorites. You start with your hands together here and then you make a rainbow like this. Can you do it? Rainbow. Oh, one more time. Rainbow. Very good. You're doing a great job. You are magic. Did you know that? Just like a beautiful rainbow. Okay. You want to look in our mailbox? Here's our mailbox. Hello, mailbox. I can't wait to see who's inside this week. Oh, now look, this is very interesting. We have one old friend, the cow, and one new friend, a horse. Cow and a horse. Cow and a horse, of course. The cow says, moo, moo. The horse says, nay, nay. You wanna try it? Let me hear you do it. What does the cow say? Very nice animal sound. Let's hear the horse. What does the horse say? You guys are very good at this. Okay, let's use our little friends to do our finger play. Now remember, if you don't have little puppets, you can just use your fingers. They can be your play. Or if you have something besides these puppets, you can use anything you want. We just need two things for our song. And our song goes like this. <clears throat> two little friends were sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Run away, Jack. Run away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Two little friends were sitting on a fort. One named Long. And one named Short. Run away, Long. Run away, Short. Come back long, come back short. Two little friends were sitting on a gate, one named Arlene and one named Late. Run away early, run away late.
Come back early. Come back. Light. Ta-da. All right, my friends, you did a great job. It's so nice to meet you, little horse. I will put you back safely in the mailbox and send you back home. And I wonder who's going to join us next week. So I have two pockets on my dress right here. And I've got one hand in each pocket. What do you think I have in those pockets? What do you think it is? There's one for this hand and one for that hand. And they're shoved down in my pockets. Can you guess what it is? Did you say scarves? Well, let's see if you're right. Yes, I have my scarves in my pocket. <laughs> Can you put your scarves in your pocket? Do you have pockets? It's fun to find places to hide them. We are going to be doing Hickory Dickory Dock with some motions going this away and that away. We're going to be working just like last week on our balance. But first, we need to shake high and low. Are you ready? Everybody shake high and low. Everybody shake high and low. Are you singing with me? Everybody shake high and low. Everybody shake high and low. Whew, that was some good singing. All right, here we go. This song is a nursery rhyme called Hickory Dickory Dock. I'm going to take our scarves and go side to side. Hickory Dickory Dock. And then we say tick tock. When you say that, I want you to push your scarves out. Tick tock, like this. Tick tock. Try it. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. The mouse ran up the clock. Tick tock. The clock struck one. It's time for fun. Hickory dickory dock. Tick tock. You want to try it? All right. Here we go. Hi friends, I want to show you a new instrument. These are my boom whackers. Boom whackers are plastic pitched tubes. For example, this one is a C, so when you whack it on your hand, it makes the note of a C. La 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 la. So we're going to count boom whackers today. We're going to start with the C, which is one. One. This is a D. It's two. Two. The E is three. Three. The F is four. Four. And the G is five. Five. All right, so we're starting at the bottom on the red, and we're going to count straight up. Are you ready? We say one. Let's count backwards. 
Another way to play the boom whackers is to tap them on the table. So let's count this time tapping them on the table. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, and the last way that I'm going to show you to play them is by using a little mallet to tap them on top. Here we go. We count. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, we're going to go backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. You did such a great job. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Yay! Good counting. In the counting song today, I've put a special little message in the numbers. So as you see them pop up next to me, I want you to look and see if you can find something that we talked about earlier today. Are you ready? Starting with one. Here we go. One, one, one ukulele. Two, two, two ukulele. Three, three, three ukulele. Four, four, four ukulele. Five, five, five ukulele. That's a uka ukulele ukulele. Did you see? What is it? It's a rainbow. That's right. Did you remember our sign for rainbow? One hand here, and we go. I love it. Oh, I'm so glad you saw it. All right, let's keep counting. A one, one, one ukulele. Two, two, two ukulele. Get ready to move it. Can you shake, shake, shake it? Here we go. We say a one, one, one ukulele. Two, two, two ukulele. Three, three, three ukulele. Four, four, four ukulele. Five, five, five ukulele. That's a uka ukulele. You go one, one. sign for rainbow. Good job. It's time for Sneakers! Look at the colors that I have today. What color is this? That's right, it's purple. And in Spanish, that's morado. Very good. What color is this? It's pink. Yes. Pink in Spanish is rosa. Rosa. Now I want to show you the sign language. Remember how I said purple? You take the P sign and put your thumb there because that's, and if you turn it over, that's the letter P. You shake it. P for purple. Now you use that same letter P and bring this finger to your lip. Just like you do red, you do pink. Purple, same thing, pink. Purple and pink, let's see if they shake the same as the others. I think they do. Everybody shake high and low. Whoa, can you sing that with me? Everybody shake high and low. 
Well, I'm sounding really low today. Can you do that? Everybody shake high and low. Everybody shake high and low. Nice singing. Okay, this next song we're gonna do is called, I Went for a Walk to the Farm Today. So I'm gonna go get my animals ready and you get your shakers ready. Okay, for our walk to the farm, this is kind of silly, so tell me if you guys wanna do it. What we're gonna do first is I'm gonna pull out of the basket all of my farm animals one at a time and we're gonna make those animal sounds. But at the end of each verse, the animals say, cha-cha-cha, with your shakers. Can you do it? Cha-cha-cha. For example, if we're singing about a cow and we say, moo, 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 cha-cha-cha, that's what he's gonna do at the end. Is that too silly? Should we do it? Okay, that's good, because I really like to do things that are silly. Let's see what animal we're gonna start with. What's your guess? Sheep. All right, we're gonna sing about a sheep. Here we go. Shake your shakers any way you like. It's freestyle. but I'm not going to look. Oh, a cow. And what does the cow say? All right, here we go. Can you shake, 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 shake? Good job. Oh, I went for a walk to the farm today. I saw a cow along the way. What do you think he happened to say? Did you do it? <laughs> Are you cha 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 Woo! All right, we're gonna look in our basket for the next animal. Do you see there's three left? What do you think I'm gonna get? The pig! And what sound does the pig make? Oink, oink, oink. Very nice. Here we go. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Please remind me, what sound does a chicken make? Sure. Alright, we're going for our walk. Are you ready? I went for a walk to the farm today. I saw a chicken along the way. What do you think he happened to say? Been keeping up with all the animals I've been using, you might be able to guess. It is our new friend, our little horse. Hi, it's good to see you again. All right, what sound does a horse make? Nay. You guys make excellent animal sounds. Cha cha cha, are you ready? Shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, I love it when you're shaking those shakers. Cha-cha-cha, are you ready? Shake, 
now it's time for our marching around song. So stand on up and get ready to move around the room. Now you can just clap and sing and march for the whole song if you like, or you can do our signs that we've learned over this session. There are three. The first one is friends. Then we learn together, together. And then we learned play. So you can use those, or you can just dance and clap and use your shakers and scarves, anything you want. But just make sure you're standing up, moving around. Are you ready? Let's go. The more we get together. And now it's time to bring it down just a little bit. We're going to move a little slower, clap a little slower, but let's keep moving. Whoopie tie, yeah, yo. Get along, little doggies. Whoopie tie, yeah, yo. It's time to go. Whoopie tie, yeah, yo. Get along, little doggies. Whoopie tie, yeah, yo. Can you clap your pancakes up high? Let's try it. Clap them down low. Good. Okay, repeat after me. I say, yee-haw. 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 All together. Well, it's time to say goodbye for now, but I want you to know I'm so very proud of you, my sweet friends. You worked so hard on all those colors and even on our special new sign. Good job. I can't wait to see you again. I love you, love you, love you. <laughs>